speaker in favour of the motion uh, and the amendment. And I think it's quite clear uh, the Environment Committee has uh, no confidence in this Minister. The Environmental Lobby has no confidence in the Minister. University students uh, here in Belfast have no confidence, in him, uh, as do many of his party colleagues. Uh, however, an eccentric uh, children's TV presenter, who we haven't seen for 20 years, uh, supports the Minister uh, and one or two people in Lauren as well, by the sounds of it. But uh, Raz Kankoro, the programme for government clearly states that action is needed to reduce our impact on climate change. The DEP signed up to this, uh, and the DEP also signed up to tackling the impact that human uh, activity has on climate change. So then, why did the DEP appoint someone? I will. Remember it was insinuating that the DEP has signed up to all of this, and, and I mean, as if the, the, the Sinn Féin are some sort of wonderful party. Uh, if I recollect, and I, I have omitted to actually write to the Minister in relation to something that he raised in the Senate chamber that day, where there was somebody who had been involved in environmental crime, where indeed you yourself had written to the Minister to try and assist to get that person off that environmental crime. So I'm just curious of how you can stand here today and be the panacea for everything to do with environmental issues, and yet in another instant you write to the Minister to help to try and uh, assist someone to get off on it who has caused environmental crime. Thank, thank, you, thank the member for his contribution. I would ask him to check his facts again and indeed read the letter if he's actually seen it. Because in that letter I quite clearly state that those environmental laws need to be upheld and it was just the way the procedure was carried out and the fact that those procedures weren't carried out quickly enough in that particular instance. So I would ask the member to check his facts. Check his facts. I won't give away again. So then why appoint someone to the ministry uh, who has consistently made a mockery of his own party? Sammy says the rest of the DUP is wrong, the DUP party manifesto is wrong, uh, because it believes that human uh, activity has an influence on climate change. So not only last Clint Coyer is he given uh, a two-finger salute to the environmental lobby, he's also given the two-finger salute to his own party. And where's the party's whip in all of this? When is he going to take uh, a kind of public opinion uh, and evict Sammy from the DUP front bench. The executive is committed to, uh, to reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 25% uh, on 1980 levels by 2025. Uh, and already there has been uh, a 6% decrease in greenhouse gas emissions, uh, and that is welcome, but much, much more uh, needs to be done. Uh, I, I indeed support the amendment. Uh, Climate change does need to be mainstreamed uh, across different departments because all our departments do have responsibilities, in particular uh, the Department of Social Development uh, and the Department of Regional Development. Uh, and as Tony Gallagher has already outlined, uh, there are many, many opportunities uh, for job creation, particularly in the field uh, of renewable energy. And that is something that the executive uh, should look, up, look at uh, in a more joined up way. So it is imperative that we do act uh, on CO2 the ministers do adhere to the programme for government uh, and address the issue uh, of climate change on a cross departmental basis. And I would just say to the minister as well, uh, the all-party working group on climate change uh, will be meeting with a member from the Met Office today who will be outlining uh, the, the dangers uh, to uh, this society and others on the basis of weather change and weather patterns uh, in, in the future at half past twelve. So he's very welcome to join us if he wants to learn something.